Hi, my name is Estella Aragon and this is Trumpet Headquarters. Today we are going to tackle one of the most common problems among trumpet players, dexterity, also known as finger speed. Lacking the skill can really put a stopper to your progress because you won't be able to play fast passages of solos or band music. You might even find yourself being able to play 90% of your solo but dreading that one little tiny section because you know your fingers just won't move fast enough or they will get all jumbled up. This is an example of good dexterity. If you can already do that, you can go ahead and turn off this video now and go practice. But if you're having a hard time, don't worry. I'm going to show you some exercises that you can do at home to improve your dexterity. Before I do that, just keep this in mind. You must do the following exercises daily and slowly at first. Be really picky with yourself because the more you practice something wrong, the harder it is going to be to make it right later. So let's get started. A book that is really going to help you get faster fingers is the Technical Studies book by Herbert Clark. This book features nine exercises with many sections each and an etude per exercise. Now they may seem difficult at first glance, but trust me, they are not as hard as they seem as long as you just take them slowly. These exercises do take a bit of time to complete, so for beginner and intermediate players, I recommend doing just the even numbers one day and odd numbers the next. This way you're still practicing all of them and covering the low and high ranges of the instrument. If you don't own this book yet, go to your local music store as soon as you can and just get it. Most should have it in stock, but you may want to call ahead just in case. Now let me tell you a few things you might already be doing that may be the reason why you can't move your fingers quickly. Let's start with how you're holding the trumpet. Your pinky should be out of the ring to allow for free movement um, of your middle three fingers. Having that pinky clamped like that in there can really slow your fingers down, not to mention it can cause you to apply a lot of pressure on your face and cause a bunch of other problems. So in general, it's best to just let the pinky be free. There are exceptions to that, but for this video, let's just keep it that way. Another thing you may be doing is keeping the palm of your, of your hand too close to the trumpet, which would look kind of like this. You can clearly see how this would keep your fingers from moving freely. Um, instead, pretend like you're holding a baseball, keep a nice curve of your hand like this, and just place that on top of the trumpet. Finally, and this is the most common problem I see, lift your fingers when you play. I call it the lazy finger syndrome because it looks kind of like this. You see how if I'm going from G to G sharp and the A, the A kind of gets half valve and then it sounds like a mess. So lift your fingers all the way up in a robotic and mechanical manner and that's really going to help. All right guys, I really hope this video was helpful to you. I will try my best to answer your questions in the comments. If you would like to receive lessons directly from me, go ahead and visit my studio for face-to-face -face lessons, musicfitacademy.com. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon.